This is our last ribbon cutting of the year. And uh, we like to say the best for last. Right, Councilman Davis? <laughs> My name is Henry Simons. I'm the Assistant City Manager of Operations, of course, for the City of Columbia. And we would like to welcome you and thank you, of course, for your presence uh, on today um, as we celebrate the grand opening and ribbon cutting ceremony of the revitalization of Hyatt Park. Thank you to our mayor, Steve Benjamin, who sends his regards this afternoon as he is currently traveling this week. He certainly desired to be here, but unfortunately he, he could not. Uh, I wanna thank him in his absence. Also wanna thank Councilman Sam Davis, of course, who represents District 1 uh, and has represented District 1 over 20 plus years. Thank you so much, Councilman uh, Davis. We also have Councilman Brennan with us today and Councilman Duvall. Thank you all so much for your uh, presence on today. We also have our Chief, Chief Holbrook and Deputy Chief Maron Kelly present with us today. Um, thank them so much for their uh, support. And we also have, um, of course, our City Manager, uh, Teresa Wilson here with us. I wanna thank Ms. Wilson for her continued leadership and guidance on our initiatives in parks and recreation. Uh, she has been continuously supportive of our efforts, um, so we're grateful for her, her presence on today. Thank you for you all uh, today. Um, it is a beautiful day, it's a fitting day for a ribbon cutting ceremony. Today is a great day. Uh, today is a great day for the city of Columbia, specifically uh, for the citizens of North Columbia. Uh, the work you see all around you uh, is a result of strong city leadership, determination, citizen support, and the unwavering leadership of Councilman Sam Davis, who has always been passionate about Hyatt Park. Our mayor and collective council members, some who are not present today, have been instrumental in this project becoming a reality uh, in this community. In 2017, the Parks and Recreation Department collaborated with the community and the steering committee on a master plan to revitalize Hyatt Park. And today, elements of the master plan are now a uh, reality. And we are overjoyed at what has been accomplished. Today, we now have a new daylighted stream community green space, which you see behind you, uh, playgrounds, multiple walkways, boardwalks, a pavilion that we'll talk about that we're standing up under in just a moment, chair seating where some of you are sitting on now, splash pad that's actually in front of you, we'll talk a little bit about that here in just a moment, metal, sculpture garden, outdoor classroom space, and getaway entry areas. Uh, the new stream is, is really a central component of the park. Actually, 1,155 square feet of pipe was removed to daylight the stream, an unnamed tributary of the Smith Branch to run through the park once again. A few sections of the pipe were reclaimed as tunnels that passed through the play mongols in the meadow. The meadow, of course, to your right, and some of the piping, you, you see how we have designed that as we took, take it, took, we took it out of the ground uh, for, for our young people to play on. So that will be a, a process of how we tell the story of the site. Uh, the restoration uh, will improve water quality, reduce velocity and impact of urban runoff down, downstream, enhance habitat diversity, and provide an outdoor learning lab illustrating the best management practices of urban streams and stormwater management. A good, good illustration of this is found in how we were able to converge the existing stream with the new daylighted stream and added an engineering, engineered beaver dam, which provides an additional education component to the outdoors. New playground components were added to, to include the climbing globe that you see directly behind you, hill slides, which you see behind you as well, and, and glassy play mongols. The splash pad, which is again here in front of you, we're gonna display that uh, once we're done. Um, 
is actually located, of course, between this pavilion and, and the terrace seating, seating there. So it'll, it'll be operating when the actual pavilion is not being used. We'll have a splash pad right in front of you so the kids can, can utilize. And we're not done yet. There's a lot, of, lot more work to be done. Uh, future phases of Hyatt Park will include educational signage, uh, a revitalized baseball field, new concessions, in restrooms, expanding walking paths, perimeter fencing, outdoor gym, additional lighting, and additional public art and site amenities. So we are thankful uh, for all the work that has been done, and we'll come back shortly with some more acknowledgments. But at this time, again, thank you for your presence today, and I'll ask Councilman Sam Davis to provide some remarks at this time. Councilman? Good afternoon. If you're um, familiar with the Hyatt Park and this particular area of, of North Columbia, then you're used to hearing such phrases as, well, it's about time. <laughs> Where's the money? Um, I say all that to say this. It's been, it's been a long journey, but a pleasant one, because it brought out the best in everybody who expresses and have a deep-seated commitment and love for this property. And it wasn't easy for a number of reasons. And, um, but it's an eye-opener for those who appreciate surprises. If you're familiar with Hyatt Park, then you recall a, a, just a, a small spot over here near the sidewalks and a small little wooden rickety bridge, walking bridge, about this long, I believe. But look at it now. You see water running. Two weeks ago, Lyman, where's Lyman? Lyman gave the most informative and lovely explanation of this park. Not everyone knew that that much water was under these grounds. Um, Windermere Springs, a couple of blocks away, uh, has water. Um, a number of neighborhoods has water. But what staff and their creativity did was to bring out the best of this location. Um, it has something for everybody. For the little ones, for the animals, for people who just love the outdoors, and it's representative of the commitment that came out of the <coughs> hot, heated discussions we've had over the years to make this day possible. Um, I think there were some folks who thought that we would not be here today uh, celebrating this treasure, but it's here now, and um, as Henry indicated, there's more to come. It, the one thing that's common about the experience here is that every neighborhood, you go through Columbia, every neighborhood takes ownership of the park that's most contiguous to where they live. And that was no different than Hyatt Park. And I hope that we, um, that we grow to love and protect this area. Somebody left it for, for us. We and you need to leave it for the, for the children who they've thought about 
with some of the age appropriate features for them. So that, that says that we're in this for the long haul. It's worth your tax dollars. And um, I don't have any notes on this, so don't worry about it. But um, I really want to thank the park staff with Henry and everybody. They also had s listening sessions and uh, I, I gave them credit. They, they had a lot of, they were some brave folks. To sit in the rooms and hear what the neighborhood say, said they wanted or what they would like to see. And uh, I, I hope you agree and appreciate the fact that, uh, that they delivered. And we've done a lot of these this year. But um, I'm going to say this is the best so far. But uh, again, because there's something for everybody, it represents some of the feedback that they were getting over the years, over the long haul, because it, it, it's been a long discussion and, and a long journey to get to this point. And so um, Green space loves those who appreciate it. You can go anywhere in this country and you can tell if there's a deep-seated, honest appreciation and love for green space or neglect and ignoring what green space can become. And so um, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, that lady I sleep with looks forward to it, Andrina, my wife. But um, we appreciate the fact that you appreciate what staff has done. And for those of you who, really, who live in Hyatt Park, I think you know what I'm talking about because um, there were times when you wanted to come into the park and um, you sort of kind of changed your mind. Um, for a number of reasons, perceptions included. But look around now and see what we have. Um, although neighborhoods that are most contiguous to parks take ownership, and, you know, sort of, it's for everybody. It's for everybody. The folks from Greenview, Earlwood, Elmwood, so um, we thank you for coming and hope that uh, you're not disappointed with the final product. And stay in it for the long haul because there's more to come and we've got to take care of this space. We've got to treat it as if it's ours individually. And that then will be reflected in the love and the appreciation that you show over a period of time. Thank you. Hey everybody, uh, my name is Ty Ziegler. I'm the president of High Park Keenan Terrace uh, Neighborhood Association. Uh, thank you, Mr. Simons, for having us out today. Um, I appreciate y'all giving us the chance to make some remarks. Um, you know, when I, when I moved to this neighborhood a few years ago, I, one thing that really drew me to this area was the unique character of it, the culture it already has. Um, you know, a lot of neighborhoods today kind of all look the same, they're built at the same time, but this neighborhood has a unique character that you can see has grown up over time. Um, excuse um, you know, uh, when the city came to us uh, to talk about um, uh, re redeveloping Hyatt Park. It's something that our neighborhood's been asking for for many years, as uh, Sam alluded to. Uh, and, you know, what we were most appreciative of was um, that the city came and listened um, and didn't just, you know, redevelop the park to make it something that the city thought it should be, that, that it should look like other parks in the city. They asked us what the park should be. So I think this is great that we have the time here today to look around and see the changes that have been made so that we know exactly or we can see the expression that, that you know, we gave to the city about what we wanted the park to be. 
what we wanted Hyde Park to be as a community. Um, and I think they, they've done a fantastic job of actually redeveloping the park in our image um, and, and making this something that we can all be proud of as a community and something that can add to the unique culture that we have here and the character that our neighborhood already has. Um, I just briefly want to thank some folks uh, that have, you know, participated in all this and, you know, City Council for one, thank you all so much for committing the funds and, and, and putting the effort into this project. Mr. Simons, Ms. Wilson, uh, thank you all for your work, um, for getting this project done. Uh, Councilman Davis, um, I, I don't know what else to say other than uh, thank you from the bottom of our heart. Um, we have been badgering about you, about this uh, project for years. Um, I appreciate your hard work so much because uh, not only has Councilman Davis, um, you know, listened to our concerns about this park and, and, you know, took all those meetings with us and brought us to city officials, but uh, he advocated on our behalf. And I think without him, this project wouldn't have gotten done. So thank you so much, uh, Councilman Davis. We really appreciate it. Um, I also want to thank uh, Todd Martin. This, I think I was somewhere. Todd's the park architect and, uh, you know, Todd had some of those meetings with us and, and listened to our ideas, took a, took a million ideas and made it into something beautiful and something uh, that we can all be proud of. So I really appreciate all the work you gave us, Todd. That's, um, uh, we really do appreciate that. And, um, and lastly, I want to thank some of my neighbors who, um, you know, I've only been uh, involved in uh, the neighborhood leadership for about three years, but um, some of our folks have been around for a very long time and have been advocating for this park for um, uh, longer than I've even lived in Columbia, actually. So um, uh, Lyman Munson, Janie Nelson, can y'all stand uh, so we can recognize y'all? These guys, Lyman and Janie do so much for our community. Um, they, are, they are such great leaders, uh, and they have been advocating for this park for a long, long time. So I thank y'all so much for the work y'all have done and the effort y'all put into this. I really appreciate uh, y'all's hard work. Um, and, and finally, I think I saw Christy Savage here earlier. Is Christy Savage here still? Um, to my left. Oh, way back there. Thank you so much, Christy. Christy's the director of the uh, um, Eau Claire Community Council, and she's been right there with us advocating for this project. So thank you all for having us. Uh, thank you, Mr. Simons, for having us here. Um, hope to see you all around the park. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ty. Uh, I also want to uh, acknowledge Councilwoman-elect Tina Herbert, who will be serving you starting in 2022, which is here. Thank you, Ms. Herbert, for your presence on, uh, on today. Look forward to working with you. Before we uh, um, ask Ms. Wilson to come with closing remarks, um, we want to take a, just, a, just a brief moment uh, to acknowledge um, the late Mary G. Thurman, who was our recreation coordinator here at Hyatt Park. She served us for, for several years, actually from 2013 uh, to early 2021. And Mary was special to this community. She, uh, she loved her seniors, uh, she loved her staff. Uh, her staff was her, her life, her family. Not only did she impact her team, but she impacted those of you in the community. And Ty and along with our community members wanted to find a way to, to acknowledge her, acknowledge her work and the time that she spent here at Hyatt Park. So collectively we decided to name the pavilion that we're standing under, uh, the Mary G. Thurman Pavilion. Her staff is, is here with us. Um, I know they miss her, miss her dearly, and that uh, we appreciate the hard work and the commitment and the dedication that you put in in this park every single day. You impact our children, our adults, anybody that come into Hyatt Park you're making an impact, so, so thank you very much for your continued work. <laughs> now at this time, we do have uh, some of Mary's family here. I'm gonna ask her sister, who is present with us today. She's gonna come and she's gonna make some, some remarks. Please help me welcome Miss Eula Duncan. Thank you, Mr. Simons. Um, thank God for this opportunity to see another day and to see all of you here. Councilman and um, uh, 
Selbstverständnis des Timings and all of you here, all of you here today. Um, this is such an honor, you know, just to be here to be a part of, to see what you all are doing for my sister, what you, you have done. It, I was quite a little emotional and, um, when I came here because uh, Kenya, he had uh, called me and made my family a part of this uh, celebration and I want to thank him because he was so supportive and um, just being there for me and uh, I don't see Kenya but I want to thank him uh, sometimes I don't know where to start I was a little emotional I had a couple of m things written down to say because Mary as uh, brother Simon said I don't want to be redundant but she loved you all she loved the people here. And I know they loved her because when she transitioned, I received for the first couple of weeks one call from my landline to my telephone, from my landlord to my telephone. And I know my brother, uh, Robert, he received a lot of calls as well. And I tried to answer every call I mean, she was just a, a very special person who um, loved what she did. She would come to Greenville. She said, I'm bringing my seniors to Greenville, Jay. Uh, you want to come back? And, um, and I would meet her with her seniors, and, and, um, and she would um, do special projects with her seniors where she, I'm going to the museum, bring a couple of the nieces and nephews by. I got some tickets. Uh, now I had the uh, opportunity to see my Angelo because of Mary. So many things that, that took place here in Columbia and she would always invite me to be a part of, part of it. Oh, she was um, uh, a very special person and she was very dear to us because Thanksgiving passed and Mary was always there. She would say, uh, okay, Jay, I'm on 418. Do you need anything? And she would bring the ham and the, uh, y'all help me, uh, the, yeah, <laughs> the, the wings. And I'm going to tell you, this Thanksgiving just passed. We missed her so much because she would always say, I got to take care of my peoples down here. And once she finished, she would be, sometimes she would be so tired, but she would come and Make that ham for us. Let me tell you, this year we didn't have the ham and it was missed. And then after the, uh, the, the Thanksgiving meal, she would go to the, the keyboard and we would sing ourselves happy. I'm telling you, she was truly missed this year. Miss her so much. I could say so much about it. There were some other things I knew I wanted to say, but I left my little cheat sheet at home and if I had it, I probably would still miss something. So I'm not going to take up a lot of time and just say uh, Michelle and Mr. Brown, oh my goodness, she talked about y'all so much. She told us so many stories about you, you guys. And there were people who came into this, this, uh, the center. They still call me to this day. So I know that people loved her here. And I just want to thank you all for loving her. I just pray that if she's on the other side that she can see what's going on. I don't know, I, you know, I've heard people say they've been to the other side and came back, I don't know. But anyways, um, I, she's so deserving of this. And thank you all so much. Everybody involved who, who had a part in this, we, we, we thank you, we, we, we love you for what you're doing here for her. And I have my family, and on behalf of my family, and, and uh, family who's not legitimate family members, but family for Mary. Mary, her sister, Stephanie, was her little, little sister. And every time Mary came home, many times Stephanie would be with her. So we feel very dear close to Stephanie because she was like a sister. I'm going to um, ask her, uh, her siblings, their 
three of us here. Her oldest brother, Robert, would you stand? Robert, that's the oldest brother. And, and the brother after me is the pastor, Willie T. I would have let him come up here, but I don't think you want a sermon today. So we'd like to stay. And thank God for um, the other, uh, it was six, seven of us. We lost Mary, so it, six of us left. But the three of us here, we're happy to have them. Then we have other members of the family. We have nephews and great nephews and nieces. Would y'all stand? She loved her nieces and nephews. Y'all stand. And every Christmas, she would come home and she would bring her car would be loaded down with gifts. And I don't know how she did it, but she, get, she had a gift for everybody. And I know those nieces and nephews are gonna miss that this Christmas. Also, we have our, our sister-in-laws here, two of them, uh, Gloria and, and Janet. Would you stand or wave your hand or something? Yeah. Okay. And on behalf of this Thurman family, we, we thank you so much for what you've done. We just can't find the words to say thank you enough. Thank you, thank you. And when we pass through, we always come through and we stop by, we go to the beach or whatever, we stop by here and we will continue to do that because we know that this is, will always be a part of Mary. Thank you and may God bless all of you. Thank you so much uh, for your remarks, Ms. Duncan. Very heartfelt, and uh, we appreciate that very much. Um, just a few acknowledgments before our city manager comes before you. Uh, again, we want to thank our mayor and city council uh, for all of their continuous support. Also want to thank the design team, uh, which is consists of yours truly, Todd Martin, our landscape architect. He's our park planner. He's our project manager. This does a lot of work for us. Um, Drew Cheatham, landscape architect for Kenneth B. Simmons and Associates, is, I think is here with us. Thank you so much for your work on this project. Philip Ellis with Robinson Design Engineers, uh, they were involved in the project. Also, uh, Joshua uh, Robinson uh, with Robinson Design Engineers. Uh, we also want to thank the construction team, the AOS specialty contractors, w which was spe the uh, primary contractor, uh, CJ Beard, project manager for AOS, also the subcontractors, uh, Kugler Construction, Chase and Landscaping, ESI Electric, and uh, more importantly, um, we also want to acknowledge our very own um, Dolly Bristow and Gloria Saeed for their work, because some of this project was funded through uh, CDBG. So we appreciate you all's support uh, with helping us fund this project. And also, uh, we also uh, received funding from the Sakalana DHEC Section 319 grant. Uh, so special thanks to Shay McCarthy, Jana Baxley, and Amanda Lay for their, for their work. So just want to acknowledge them. Now at this time, we'll ask our city manager, Teresa Wilson, for uh, closing remarks. Ms. Wilson. When you have a great staff, I mean, they don't leave anything else for you to say. I was um, thinking about some of those acknowledgments, um, but honestly, most everything has been said on this beautiful, gorgeous day. I mean, Mr. Davis, in the spirit of Mary and this North Columbia community, all I think that's left to be said is, won't he do it? <laughs> I mean, this is amazing. I am so excited and thrilled um, after many years of um, Mr. Davis and our entire council, but Mr. Davis, not so kindly, many days, um, not always s civil, but he, he tries, and when he wants something done, we know we better figure it out year after budget year, and so we did that, and it was a labor of love in the process. When he called me and tell me it's time to ride in the streets, let's go, come on, I gotta show you something. When are we getting this done? When are we getting that done? I was like, okay, it's time for a Mr. Davis ride along today. And that was okay because I know for sure 
where his heart has always been, and it's with this North Columbia community. Um, all of the acknowledgments have been said, but I too have grown in this job after 14 years um, at the city and watching um, our communities grow in different ways, knowing that there's still much work to be done in some of our underserved communities. Um, it is great to have advocates, and I can truly say that the council members behind me and those not here, Mayor Benjamin, others, are true advocates. I know that Councilwoman-elect Herbert, because I've grown up with her, is a true advocate as well. I know her heart personally and her heart for service. Um, but when Mr. Davis wasn't in my ear, you better believe Ms. Nelson or Mr. Hopkins, I see back there. Hey, Mr. Hopkins. Miss <laughs> um, Sabrina Odom and Mr. Lyman Munson, all of these um, pillars in the community were always there as well in our ear. So trust and believe that the staff does take these projects seriously and to heart. They truly are a labor of love. And I'm very proud of our staff and the legacy that they are impacting every day for the children in North Columbia. Um, we want to make sure that Mr. Davis um, and Mrs. Davis never forget us as well. You know, his, his mouth is going to be in my ear for years to come, even if I'm not sharing um, time with him at city council meetings. And so we thank you, Mr. Davis, for your sacrifice for the last 20 years. We thank you, Ms. Davis, for sharing him um, with us, you and the boys. It's very much so appreciated. With that, we want him to have a memory, and you too, of the time that he has spent with us, and particularly the legacy that has been impacted by him um, with this particular park. So with that, Mr. Davis, come up for a moment, please, sir. See how, I mean, still, to the, you just, you just stubborn, just a stubborn. <laughs> Come on, councilman, and, and help us with this. That's right. Get him right, Mr. Duvall. Mr. Davis, we hope that you enjoy seeing the <laughs> fruits of a lot of labor and, a, and, a, and your vision of compare with this community's vision, and we hope that you enjoy the schematic master plan for Hyatt Park. Oh, um. man. Yeah, that is nice. <laughs> that, 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 that is, that's the beginning. Yes, sir. That really yes, is. Sir. I, I appreciate that. Yes, sir. Everybody who's and a little, part of it. And little sweets for everyone as yeah. well. And the cake, Let's, how does the cake read, Shanique? Thank you for 23 years of service to the employment. Oh, man. Yes, sir. Um, well, I guess they say, uh, you know, good things come to those who wait. But I've never been in waiting for, for this. You know, you, 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 you do things and you commit to public life because you want to do it. It's a part of you, expecting nothing in return. But I, I appreciate this. And um, uh, it's, I, I appreciate it. Let me, let me say one thing before I sit down. The city manager alluded to it just a second ago. Um, at w at some time in the past, there was there were warriors out here, and two of them in particular. Uh, one, uh, Bill Manley, who's no longer with us, and yesterday when I was driving, coming up North Main, I thought of the other warrior 
Henry Hopkins. Those of you who know this area know the combat between those two <laughs> on behalf of this area. Uh, and really, Janie Nelson and, and, and um, Lyman, uh, you know, it, 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 it's all because they express what we, what we were talking about. You know, they love this area, and if need be, they take your head off. <laughs> so uh, I, we really appreciate them. I could not forget Hen Henry Hopkins yesterday. It, just, it was like a light that came on. So um, this, this is their day, y'all's day, the city's day. Um, I'm, I'm just happy to be a part of it, and I, I appreciate the, the gesture.